Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade chapter eight, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Before we do, I wrote up here that a whole number divided by a fraction, you're gonna get a whole number. A fraction divided by a whole number and you're gonna get a fraction, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I mean, okay? We have a fraction divided by a whole number, okay? So only because the top numbers are one right now, okay? Eventually you will get to where your top, your, your numerators are larger than one, but right now they're just one, okay? So right now, your numerator is going to stay a 1. You're going to multiply those two numbers and get 15. Okay? All right. Now, if you choose, you can absolutely write out your key change flip. Okay? There is nothing wrong with that. Okay? You would keep. You would change and you would flip and you would get 16 for number three. Okay? Because a whole number divided by a fraction, you're going to get a whole number. Okay? Or you could just multiply. Okay? Only because the numerators are one. If you have a numerator other than one, you cannot do this. Okay? Okay. So. Fraction divided by a whole number, we're going to get a fraction, which means our top number is going to be 1. Okay? Then we're going to multiply, and we're going to get 12. Done. Okay? Whole number, so we don't have a, we don't have a fraction. Whole number divided by a fraction, and we're going to multiply and get 20. Okay? Fraction by a whole number. Done. Okay, you guys do 7 through 12. You totally can. I believe in you. We're going to go down and we're going to do word problems, okay? Number 13. It says Isaac has a piece of rope that's five yards long. He is cutting them into half yard pieces. How many pieces? So, five divided by one half. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, whole number divided by a fraction. We're going to get a whole number. I'm going to multiply those two numbers. 10 pieces. Done. Okay? Not that bad, guys. Okay? All right. Two friends share half of a pine of a piece equally. Okay? So, one half divided by two. Okay? We have a fraction being divided by a whole number. Okay? So, I'm going to have a one for my numerator. And I'm going to multiply these to get four. One quarter of the pizza. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down and do spiral review. It says nine friends. Share 12 pounds of pecans equally. So they have 12. They're dividing it by nine. Friends, how many pounds? So whatever it is, it's going to be in pounds, yeah? Okay, you ready? So I'm going to go. First, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, so first I'm going to go ahead and reduce it. Um, I know that 3 goes into 9 and 3 goes into 12. So 3 goes into 9 3 times and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So now my fraction would be 4 over 3. Okay. So 3 goes into 4 1 time. 1 times 3 is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. And my denominator stays the same. Okay. A scientist has two-thirds of a liter of solution. He uses half of that solution for an experiment. So, two-thirds uh, divided by a half. Okay, so we're going to keep. You know, y'all, we don't even have to do that. Okay, he has two-thirds. 
Well, half of two is one. So one third of a liter, the capital L is liter, okay? You can do this, you just don't have to, okay? I'm trying to teach you guys to look at the problem, use your brains, okay? So your numerator is two, half of that is one, you keep your denominator, okay? All right, Naomi needs two cups of chopped apples for a fruit salad she's making. She only has a quarter cup measuring cup. How many times will Naomi need to fill the measuring cup to get to two cups? So, just so that we're clear, okay? So, there's one cup, there's two cups, okay? There's one quarter, okay? We split each one up into four, okay? Because she has two cups, so there's one and there's two, but she's splitting them up by four. So yes, we can just do two divided by one four, okay? But if, I just want you to think about it, okay? So she's gonna have to scoop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Eight scoops or eight times or whatever, okay? Okay, Michaela bought three fish which weigh a total of 19 and a half pounds. One fish weighs seven and five eighths pounds and another weighs five and three quarters pounds. How much does the third fish weigh? All right, let's do it, ready? So we are starting with, we don't actually need this underlined, okay? So we have 19 and a half. We are taking away these two because we need to know how much that last fish weighs and whatever is left over is going to be that amount, okay? So first, I want to find out how much these two are together, okay? So 7 and 5 eighths and 5 and 3 quarters, okay? So first, we need a common denominator. So between the two of them, that's going to be eight, four and eight. So that's going to be eight, okay? Well, I had to multiply four by two to get to eight. So now I'm going to multiply three by two and I'm going to get six. So now I have six eighths, okay? So seven plus five is 12, okay? Five plus six is 11 and I keep my denominator. You'll notice that 11 is larger than 8, so I need to go, how many times is 8 going to 11? And I'm going to go one time. And then I would have 3 left over. My denominator stays the same. So 13 and 3 eighths, okay? So now I'm going to have 19 and a half minus that 13 and 3 eighths, okay? Again, I need to get a common denominator. Okay, I'm going to do this so that I can put these next to it and so that you can see what's my common denominator, okay? So between 2 and 8, my smallest number they both go into is going to be 8. Well, this one's already an 8, so I'm going to keep it the way that it is, okay? Now, 2, in order to get it to 8, I had to multiply it by 4. So when I multiply the top by 4, I get 4. So I'm going to have 4 eighths. Okay, four can take away three, so I'm good there, okay? Thir sorry, 19 minus 13 is six, four minus three is one, and my denominator stays the same. Okay, so now six and one eighth pound. Okay, make sure that you write your work down, okay? Go back, watch it again if it's confusing. Eventually, you're going to get it, I promise. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for 8.4. Come on back for 8.5. See you soon.